Thanks for staying with us. So moving on to another topic. Uh, according to reports, <laughs> water has become so rare at the University College Hospital UCH in Bado for patients, including newly delivered mothers, are turning to pure water sachets to get cleaned up. This is the report according to a journalist, um, Shoyombo. Pregnant women who naturally urinate frequently force themselves to suppress the urge just to avoid using toilets without water. Hmm. Now, so this was the, the journalist that um, um, did um, an expose on the police, I think it was last year. Uh, I think it was uh, Shoyombo was his, his last name. And he did this expose. And it was important for us to get um, somebody to verify or to even tell us what's happening. And that's why we're inviting over um, the head of Information Department Public Relations Officer, University Teaching Hospital, Toye Akinriola, joining us on the show. Good morning, sir. Are you there? Hello, sir. Are you there? Hello. Good morning, sir. Are you there? Okay, we're still having connection issues. But um, this report... Um, came in, and it was quite disturbing. Hmm. Um, it was Fisayo, yes, okay. Fisayo, that, I was trying to get his first name. So the journalist Fisayo Shoyombo did this report, and uh, he did this exposure. Yes, good morning, sir. Are you there? Yeah, I am here. Yes, good to have you on the show. So you are um, the PRO for UCH, UCH. Based on this report yes. by this journalist, Fisayo Shoyombo, could you give us an update on what's happening at UCH? Pardon? Could you give us an update because concerning water? They said that there is no water in UCH currently. Could you tell us what's no, happening right now? I don't think that position is correct. Okay. Because as we speak, the main areas and emergency areas that you have water in UCH have. The theater has water running. The intensive care unit has water running. The labor ward and the gyne ward. All of these places have water running in them as we speak. So it's not correct to say that uh, water is not running in UCH. Mm. But according to the report, sir, um, it was said that the women who just uh, put to bed were asked to buy sachets of uh, pure water to be able to clean up. You no, know, this, is, this is not correct, like I said. You see, apparently, let me just say that... Um, Though some of our facilities have aged, the hospital is 63 years old this month. So some of the pipes we had have been laid since then. Some of them are bad and all of those things have happened to them. We are currently working on the entire water system of the hospital, the water reticulation system. However, we are aware that some places must have constant water supply. So we are mindful of, of, of all of those places and we ensure that there is water running constantly in all of those places. And apart from that, we have big dairy tanks, I mean, uh, water cans in all of this, I mean, in all of our wards that we fill with water. So if there is, I mean, any shortage of water, those cans are always filled. So you can always revert to them when there is water shortage. Right. But as I speak with you, and at all times, the labor ward, the gyne theater, and even the, I mean, the labor theater, labor ward theater, and the wards in which they are put after delivery, all of them have water running in them, mm. as I speak with you. Okay. So where do you think this investigative journalist has gotten his story? Pardon? The, the investigative journalist, Fisayo, where do you think he's gotten yes. his story from? Because apparently he did, he went several days and he spoke to several patients who said they, they had to buy pure water and who couldn't use the bathroom because the toilets... Where do you think he's getting his story from? No, the East Tyler said he came to UK to speak to some patients and didn't talk to the management. I don't think that is a balanced journalism. Because if he spoke with patients and he sent out videos, there's one of the videos he sent out that is not UCH. The facilities there are not UCH. The pictures there, the colors of the doors in the video he sent out are not in UCH. So we are trying to get to that truth. But he didn't talk to anybody in the management. But like I said, because I'm here, and a lot of people have come in here, and they are still here. We have water running in the essential places. Right. I said we should have water. 
In other areas where we have broken the walls and we are trying to replace the pipes, here you can say there might not be water, but okay. not in sensitive areas that All we right. know that can All create problems. All right, sir. Is it possible to uh, show us, maybe like do a, a tour of the facility, show us the running water and a few of the patients? Is it possible so that people can be rest assured that you are saying the truth? Is it possible? You mean you, you coming to do a documentary or we doing that for you? I mean, well, either way, but I guess it was, it's important for us to see visual evidence of what, uh, exactly. uh, what, um, what you're saying. But either way, you've said that the, the critical um, theaters and wards have water. But the other less critical parts, what are you doing to ensure there's consistent water across the entire university teaching hospital? There are, for instance, in the residential areas, we have boreholes installed in some of them. You know, I mean, quite a number of places within the hospital, we have boreholes right. that serve. But our main water system that go to the uh, wards, the clinics, the theater, and the ICU, that we have, I mean, that comes from the, I mean, our water treatment plant, they are working. Mm. Like I said, okay. four yeah. holes are in the residential areas while the main water flows from our water treatment plant. Mm. And every emergency area, the accident and emergency, the theaters, the ICU, the labor ward, and the gyne theater, all of them, as I speak with you. Okay, I think, I think we'll take your word for okay. it then. We'll take your word for Hello? it. Thank we'll take your word for it. Thank you so much for sharing, um, shedding light on this for us. Uh, we appreciate you joining us on the show. I'm speaking with the PRO officer, University and Hospital, Toi Akin Lola. Let's go on a break now. We'll come back and continue with the show. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So before we move on to our next topic, uh, Fisayo Shemba called in to um, share his own experience with us verbally um, uh, on the phone. Good morning, Fisayo. Are you there? Yeah, good morning. I'm here. Yeah, good to have you. Yeah, so a few moments ago, we had the PRO of UCH on the show to tell us exactly what the situation report was in at the UCH based on the report that you had actually published. Could you give us um, further insight into what you saw? Okay, so first of all, let me say it wasn't even a report. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think as, as the public relations officer of such an institution, because, I mean, people already messaged me, and then I understand that he said we, I didn't even get in touch with the management. I don't have to get in touch with the management if I'm putting out just a video. It's not a report. It's not an investigation. It's not a feature. So it's not a complaint from mm -hmm. patients, okay. you know, who feel that that kind of situation should not be happening at a special institution like you see. I understand he said... Uh, the videos I put the video just one that I put out you know it's it, cat was in you know I didn't put out things that I am not hundred percent sure of. Okay. This video was recorded you know by a patient okay. you know and what I put out is just the abridged vision. If Mr. King Allah wants me to put the full I will do it. And it will include at least one easily recognizable one patient that has been at UCH for months. And they have refused to discharge because the patient doesn't have the money to free herself. Mm. You know, the patient who can't control her urination and, you know, messes up the place. You know, and I wanted the identity of that patient, which was why I stopped the video at that point. So if the right. is the system is not UCH, you know, I can, I can send out the full video. Okay. So that people who know can tell him that this is your patient. Mm. You know, patients are human beings. When you put them in conditions that are beneath human beings, they will talk. Mm. I expect someone like the PRO to properly advise the chief medical director of UCH. I say, let's solve the problem. Mm. <laughs> the CMD put out a statement on the day I leave that video, owning up to that challenge, but explaining it away. Okay. You know, yes. several right. patients, past patients of UCH, came on that thread on Twitter and Facebook to say this 
has been a recurring problem at this age. Okay. So it should solve the problem rather than try to demonize the journalists right. and Point say, taken, what do I have to benefit from from. All right, we were just taking one question for you before you run off your yes, All right, Afisaya. So it was a report. Like you said, the patients reported to you. How did they send in their reports to you? And how did you get the videos? Did you just rely on their own account? account or you actually went there to see things for yourself? Patients had been complaining to me. Now, as I said, it wasn't a report. You know, patients who were there recorded that video. I know the patient personally. I know her condition. Okay, okay. You know, I knew what, I knew the day the patient went in. I knew all the times the patient had been in. Like I said, in the recognizing patient that they know at this week that can no longer control our urination. Okay. They all know the patient. You know, they are coming on air to see what they are saying because they need to keep their jobs. And that's not what we need in this country. We need people who are passionate about this country, who want institutions to work. Not people who cannot think beyond their pockets, beyond their earnings. All right. Thank you very much, Fisaya. We appreciate it. I wanted to just hear your thoughts on this. Thank you for Thanks. sharing that for, with us.